Hi all, welcome to Automation Tech Stuff channel. In this playlist, we are going to see about what is report portal and what are the AI capabilities which is having report portal and other features also we are going to see. The main agenda of this uh, playlist is about like first we are going to see about uh, introduction about uh, report portal next uh, what are the features we are having in that report portal um, next we are going to see about how we can install it and um, how we can integrate it to our uh, existing or new selenium framework like a pre-request we are going to see and uh, next we are going to see about difference between uh, extant report and uh, report portal and we are going to see other uh, different options also and finally we are going to see about the demo uh, let's move on to the introduction part uh, let me quickly tell about uh, what is uh, report portal report portal is a ae based reporting tool it is web based reporting tool that enables user to quickly and easily create the detailed report with the ability to customize them with the charts, tables and other visuals. We can share the report portal through email, web, PDF. Uh, to install the report portal, the pre-request or like a Docker engine and Docker campus should be there in our uh, mission. And we can install it in um, uh, any one of the uh, cloud uh, like uh, AWS or Azure and uh, we can integrate to our existing or new Selenium framework as well. They are supporting too many uh, languages and uh, frameworks like um, uh, they are supporting for uh, TestNG framework and JUnit and etc. And languages also they are supporting for too many languages. Yeah. Let me tell about what are the features we are having in that uh, report portal. Actually, it is a open source and uh, they are uh, having the future of AAML uh, as well. Uh, let me tell you like what are the AAML capabilities they are providing. Like they have used the clustering and classification model. They used for summarizing the report and organize and the classifying the report. Mostly they used the AI model uh, in the most failure test case and most popular pattern table and flecky test case, uh, which is there in the uh, dashboard of that uh, report portal. And they have used one more uh, ML feature called uh, auto analysis and suggestion XG boost model, uh, which will do like a, they used to model for what it will do is like a based on previous result, it will suggest it is it is a system issue or product issue uh, I, in the demo we will um, um, i will tell about um, everything clearly as of now uh, i will tell about uh, like um, uh, what are the models they have used in that yeah next we are going to see like a, a real time uh, data visualization like a, when you are running the test script you cannot um, get the pass file count in the real time but the report portal is providing the real time data visualization like uh, when you are running the script you can get the pass file count and uh, to get the execution detail we no need to wait for till uh, execution get over and uh, the next feature is like a uh, test automation uh, as we discussed already like uh, they are providing the too many um, capabilities uh, capabilities and uh, they are uh, providing uh, they are supporting for too many languages selenium and uh, other uh, frameworks like uh, test and gj unit and uh, others and uh, next move on to the user friendly of interface they are providing the uh, very good interface like uh, in that uh, they have provided dashboard and profile and administration options and other uh, options they are providing and everything is a user friendly only so user can easily um, understand what is the model uh, sorry what is that uh, features uh, having and what is the uh, component it is so by viewing that uh, screen itself they can understand what is the uh, uh, uses for this uh, uh, component yeah these are the main features um, in uh, next video we will going to see about other features and um, uh, demo part as well 
Thanks for watching this video.